It is an amazing grace to think about. The fact that even a small candle can shatter the deepest darkness. Yet as astonishing as that may seem, such is the power of true illumination. A single light shining in the darkness has more power than all of that darkness. The light of a beauteous candle mirrors in a way the light of great ideas. It is a visual metaphor for enlightenment in matters of the heart. Great words can give expression to lofty thoughts, and great ideas born of ideals enlivened with faith can change the world. And even if it's only one heart at a time, the effect is of eternal significance. You might wonder, what does mathematics have to do with music? Well, if you look at harmonica, uh, many of the harmonicas have numbers on the harmonica. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, so on and so forth. So if I play this harmonica, <coughs> I can think of it as playing numbers. And I can play a pattern of these numbers that makes a melody. Stephen Foster was one of the greatest songwriters we ever had in America. Now, you heard Oh Susanna in the key of C. Now, I do a great deal of work on motion pictures. I do a great deal of work on motion pictures, soundtracks for motion pictures. And so if I understand the C major scale, That means I can use that scale. Say I'm writing a motion picture soundtrack, and I want to have a real happy sound. I could have something like this.
that is a world premiere. That is a world premiere because that's the first time I've ever played that tune. I just made it up right here. Okay, now because I understand the C major scale, I can use that C major scale. Like for instance, if I want to play O oh, Susanna, and it's a bright, happy, sunshiny day in the motion picture, that would be fine. However, if I want to play it so it sounds a little spooky, if I want to play it so it sounds a little spooky, I just change some of the notes. Now this is a little bit different key, however, basically what I'm saying is this. If I change a few notes, or even just one note on that scale, what happens to people's perceptions changes dramatically. So once again, I'm going to play O oh, Susanna on this harmonica. to sound a little spooky. Now don't clap along with this, just listen. If I want it to sound a little spooky, I just change a few notes. I just change a few notes or maybe just one note on the scale and it sounds like this. Let's see if you can recognize this one. Um. 